everybody. Oh, let me get under the light there. There we go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Same Sewer Gaming. My name is Jordan. And my name's Matt. We made enough money. We had a good day of uh, selling stuff, and we're back in action. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the bow. The last upgrade. So it looks like this does wind damage. Interesting. Hmm. Very cool. Oh, lightning. I always thought that was wind. It was like a tornado, but it's a lightning. I guess that makes sense. It's a <laughs> technology dungeon. Cool. I sure hope that'll still be effective against the lightning enemies. Yeah, but the fire one I thought was still worked um, against like fire enemies. Well, we're about to find okay. it. Let's do it. Loading, loading, loading. 2D game that needs 10 minutes of loading. Uh, not enemies that I typically use the bow against. So yeah. <laughs> try it out in a second. <laughs> One sixty four. That's good. Um, I think we're dealing one thirty something before. But I think with these kind of bows, it's also the damage over time that you want to watch. Yeah, cause see, I just killed that guy yeah. without um, without hitting him basically. Ow! Get away from me! <laughs> There we go. Now I'm getting the hang of it. Oops, I didn't get potions. <laughs> oh boy. A little too excited. Uh, that's not good. Costs well, money to leave, that's the only problem. Yeah, you could just do the one that only costs a little bit. Yeah. Since you probably won't get as far. Says you. No, I'm kidding. I won't. I said probably. <laughs> I didn't say that it was for sure. Just, you know. I'm just being analytical here. <laughs> Yanking your chain. <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to think of where I even have a chain to yank. <laughs> I don't know. You're playing Kingdom Hearts. I'm sure there's a chain somewhere in that game. <laughs> I mean, I literally just started playing Chain of Memories last week. Oh, see, there you go. And that is a chain that uh, very much seems to get yanked <laughs> throughout the story of the game. Speaking of uh, Square Enix titles, did you see they're not going to do PlayStation exclusives anymore? Uh, really? It was interesting. Yeah, I saw that. And a lot of people who are big PlayStation fans were not happy. <laughs> not sure why. I mean, it just means more people are <laughs> included. Or but... maybe maybe they saw what happened with Helldivers and were like, yeah, we don't want anything like that to happen <laughs> to us yeah. and our Man, publishing that... company. <laughs> that was a big mess. Although I never even played that game. Oh, I didn't either, but... <laughs> Like, just hearing the absolute disgust <laughs> from the fans. And it's, like, I'm on the side of, I mean, like, I don't like having to sign up for third-party stuff. I really hate it. So I get it. But it's just weird that this was kind of the tipping point for people. Because... um. You know, you yeah, have well, to do it for everything. I don't know. Well, I think it was because the game started off not needing that. And yeah. then they wanted to try and introduce it later. I guess that's, yeah, that's different than most places do it. Because, you know, other games like, I don't know, Fortnite or things of that sort that require you making a third party account, they all started with that. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if you wanted to play, you 
that's just part of the package thing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes Usually it's worse. to help keep track of, like, you know, battle pass type stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that was a screw up. Yeah, and then people were like, um, you know, some countries can't even sign up. And so then they, like, stopped selling the game in certain countries. Just not a good look. <laughs> okay, let's see. Here. Yeah. But in any case, I personally am glad that Square Enix isn't going to be yeah. doing console exclusives anymore. Me as well. I think it's, if you're a fan of the channel, you know we're both Xbox players, mostly. <laughs> yeah. I happen to be playing this one on PC just because, like... We oh, yeah. almost forgot to get potions again. I was like, I'm forgetting something. <laughs> I know it. Um, because when I share on Discord, Matt can hear if I play on PC. And this is on Games Pass. So I just... Like, I have it on both, basically, for no extra cost. Even though I, I actually did buy this game. But it just happened to be on X -Pass, uh, Games Pass as well. Yeah. Well. Okay. And, you know... I'm cheap and don't have the like Game Pass Ultimate or <laughs> any of that kind of stuff. I just have the the basic thing. I was gonna ask you, what is on the basic Game Pass? <laughs> I mean, there there were a couple of things. I I am guessing that probably rotates out from time to time as well. But yeah, I mean, there there were a couple of noteworthy things mostly from a multiplayer perspective okay and um what i guess what i was really curious about is because microsoft bought all these studios and i remember them i, I could be wrong i could be remembering wrong but they said something like oh yeah all of the properties we own they'll always be on games pass but now that I think about it, it's like, does that mean the basic one or the pay one? So do you have like Starfield and Redfall on your Game Pass? Uh, Maybe not Starfield. I don't know. I'm not totally sure. Um, okay. I, I haven't been keeping close track of it like that. Yeah. I mean, those games weren't even received well, and, well. and the thing is even even for like the the basic game pass you still have to pay you just don't pay oh, as much that's right and then you get a smaller subset of the games available to you right i think i'm gonna just keep going a little bit because we can use that healing pool oh i hate that enemy Something I haven't really done much in this game is like, you get hurt, go to the healing pool, get hurt, go back. <laughs> Abuse the mechanic a little bit. Oh no, slime. Don't like you. There we go. So that's like buffing that dude. Yeah, it sure <laughs> seems like it. Yeah, I just realized I'm like probably extra glad that Square Enix <laughs> is saying they're not going to do console exclusives anymore because that means I don't have to worry about when Kingdom Hearts 4 drops if that'll be <laughs> yeah. exclusive. Yeah, that's true. That's the whole reason I, on my own channel and playing through the whole series right now is because I'm trying to get through all of it before the fourth game drops. <laughs> Yeah, so very good for you. Maybe this also means we will get the Final Fantasy VII remake. Maybe. Although they probably, 
you know, made it exclusive for a certain amount of time. But we'll see. Yeah. Uh... Well, plus, like, they already have the first two parts of it that are exclusive. Okay. It seems a little weird that they would suddenly make the third part not be oh no i meant like those two parts will come to i mean if because like final fantasy 10 eventually came to xbox i mean it took i don't know 10 years or whatever oh <laughs> uh, yeah like that's the thing when it released it it was a long time between when it released and when it was available on xbox yeah. like I had to skip a console generation or two <laughs> yeah that's unfortunate <laughs> That is a fun game. All right, I've almost cleared this whole thing. And then... That was that was honestly something that bugged me about the Kingdom Hearts series for a little while was because like they decided to make a bunch of the games exclusive to the handhelds and whatnot. Oh yeah, that's true. And then, for a while, the, like, ports, or whatever you want to call them, that were for console, were PlayStation exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> but, anyway. Yeah, a little off topic. Yeah, I don't know with this new bow. I'm it's still taking a while. Look, okay, of course, so we haven't we haven't enchanted this bow. Oh, that's true. But look at this. So usually that shows the next dungeon, but that's a past dungeon. So I think this is, you know, kind of that big door isn't a dungeon. It's probably just a boss. Oh, I forgot. Unless that it's another one that just happens to look like. Yeah, maybe. I forgot that thing respawns the enemies. Yeah. Curse you, Zordon. <laughs> but I did get drops twice, so you really could grind drops like that. Oh, come on. <laughs> it has been trained on how to avoid projectiles. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. Okay, I'm going to go heal because... Getting a little touch and go, even though I didn't use a potion. But you didn't use a potion because you wanted to get more out of the pool. <laughs> the value, I can't pass up the value. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay, question. Should I go to the ghost dungeon or, you know what, I'm gonna go to the ghost dungeon. I answered my own question before I let you answer it. <laughs> I was thinking go to the warped room first. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Because that's just one room. Yeah. True. I remember those. don't know if I want to keep that stuff because it's just not worth anything. Why would I do that? This is worth nothing too. Six. <laughs> All right, let us continue. Ghost dungeon it is. Let's see what this has in store for us. Ghost items are cool, but they do hurt you when you use them. <laughs> so it's a little scary. But if it does like a significant amount of extra damage. Oh. Okay, I don't like this guy. Wow, that did a lot. I haven't been blocking much this game. Oops, I used a potion. Didn't mean to do that. I should be blocking more. It 
Stop chasing me. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. It's just like, no, I, it's it's my job to chase you down. <laughs> there we go. The only way I could convince you to leave. <laughs> Made me feel like, oh yeah, uh, I don't know if I told you, I'm doing, I'm sure I did. I told, I'm, I'm doing some kind of series on Zent's channel with him and we were fighting some boss and it was focusing like basically only me. And <laughs> that's what it felt like. Just running away, can't attack. Yeah, there we go. What? I thought that was supposed to... Maybe you have to dodge it. Yeah, maybe that's what and it was. Because I've, I've noticed you can only attack it when it like changes color. Okay. It's wanting me to go back, but we're so close. And I have four potions left. Ow. This might be the most annoying enemy of the technology <laughs> dungeon. Okay. Destroys an artifact curse. Um... I don't know, I guess I'll destroy that one. And then... Destroys a curse. curse. Don't really have many bad curses. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Didn't mean to do that. No, but... <laughs> oh yeah, these are worth nothing. Get rid of those. Uh... I think that's it. If you wind up in a pinch, you might want to get some of those start items up at the top. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Tesla coil engine. Oh, that can't go there. Um, okay. Well, there's more of those. So we'll do that. And these are worth not that much. I'll switch it for the question mark. Okay. That looks good. Okie dokie. Boss time. Ow! Right off the bat. It's got a jetpack. Ow! Okay, this is a... <laughs> Corrupt dimensional watcher. Jeez! Just gotta get the hang of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to make it. Still got one more potion. Thank you, I thought I was out. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. You can just fall off the sides? <laughs> I guess so. Dodged, what the heck? Oh, he was facing the other direction. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. All right, well, not doing that ghost dungeon again until we have a little better equipment. Dang. That also, unfortunately, means you don't really have much to sell, huh? Yeah. Uh, I mostly kept starred items, so really, I should be keeping all this stuff. Well, it was worth a try. Now I know. We'll just avoid that for now. Okay, um... 
Yeah, we really don't have anything. <laughs> so we'll just jump back in. However, actually, how much does it cost to enchant the bow? Let me see. Just be good to know in general. Oops. Actually, I do need potions too. Oh, I can make the big ones. We have 600 health, so actually, yeah, we should do this. And then enchantments. 128,000, dang. Yeah. That's pretty steep. I wasn't dying very much, and then this dungeon's a little tricky. Well, I mean, I guess this is a good time for uh, verse of the day. We didn't, we didn't do it, right? Did we do it? We did not do it yet. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good time. All right. Um, question. Have we talked previously about how the Israelites became slaves in Egypt? I don't think so. Okay, well then, that's the passage I'll read and talk a little bit about in this episode, I guess. Okay. I had a backup, just in case. <laughs> and that's why I asked. I mean, I don't remember, yeah. but it's, I mean, it's possible. I don't know. It's, uh, so what I'll be reading comes from Exodus chapter 1 um, but for context from the end of Genesis you know there was there was a famine in Canaan you know where Jacob's family was um, of course his one son Joseph had been sold off to people in Egypt as a slave. Uh, but then that wound up through different circumstances, ultimately landing him as like Pharaoh's right hand man. Yeah. And, uh, the famine drives the rest of his family down to Egypt with him, and then we basically get to what it describes in this chapter after that. Also, your potions are not set to the uh, quick I just action. I did not um, equip them, so I'm just going to try to play it safe, and we didn't lose much time if I die. I went right to the boss. My mistake. Good thing is I've anyway. already faced the boss, so we kind of know what to expect. All right, so I am now going to read from Exodus chapter 1. This will be verses 6 through 10. Okay. So it says, Now Joseph and all his brothers and all that generation died. But the Israelites were exceedingly fruitful. They multiplied greatly, increased in numbers, and became so numerous that the land was filled with them. Then a new king, to whom Joseph meant nothing, came to power in Egypt. Look, he said to his people, the Israelites have become far too numerous for us. Come, we must deal shrewdly with them, or they will become even more numerous, and if war breaks out, will join our enemies, fight against us, and leave the country. You know what, I'll tack verse 11 onto that too. So they put slave masters over them to oppress them with forced labor, and they built uh, Pithom and Ramesses as store cities for Pharaoh. All right, maybe I shouldn't have included that last verse because <laughs> names. Oh, that's funny. But, yeah, so. Jacob's family went to Egypt because famine then they died out and the new pharaoh didn't really know anything of what they did and how they had helped Egypt. Yeah. So 
New Pharaoh was basically like, well, these these people are a threat to us. <laughs> we better do something about them. So they made them slaves. Well, we've all been there. <laughs> <Give me. laughs> hey, I mean, you could debate, you know, a lot of people being slaves to the general workforce but <laughs> <laughs> yeah um yeah it's interesting because like before i really studied the bible i had always heard of the jewish people being the slaves of egypt but i had didn't really i hadn't heard about how they started out in the pharaoh's favor as like the you know the pharaoh said you everyone needs to respect them they're good and like that's how that's basically yeah. what happened and then yeah as it said um someone came along who didn't know personally the the youngest son and joseph sorry and then enslaved everybody yeah a lot of times when summarizing the Bible, it pretty much just goes from it pretty much just goes from Joseph's story of, you know, triumph and victory and gaining favor, so to speak, just straight from that to, all right, Israelites are slaves and Moses is chosen to free them. Yeah. Okay, I just realized our bow is supposed to do 200. And the reason it's not is because I'm using this vampiric amulet. Mm. Although I think it's, I mean, I think it's kind of amulet is supposed to heal you based on the damage dealt, right? Yeah. I really despise this enemy. Oh, that was like, that was everything. Yeah. Okay. Well, this will be an easy room. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? Tech baby slime egg. Uh, maybe that's one of the ones that'll, you know, just kind of show up next to your shop or whatever. Yeah. Interesting. Not doing the ghost dungeon this time. No, that was that was a tough boss, man. Oh, great. Oh, great, <laughs> Mimic. With a long range attack. That does a ton uh, of it, damage. Oh it doesn't hit behind the, the boxes or whatever. Okay, that's good to know. Just so I can take care of the... Oh. Take care of the other enemies. Because the slime's annoying. This thing's annoying. There we go. Jeez. I mean, I know that this gives a lot of good loot, but I mean, it's doing like 250 damage <laughs> when it hits me. Jeez. You don't exactly have a choice to leave the room, though, either. <laughs> I, mean, I can try to block it. Right. I am out of potions. <laughs> Ow! Also, is it just me, or did your max health... Yeah. Go down. That's true. What happened? Can I? Oh my gosh, you can go back in combat. I'm doing it. I I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk <laughs> dying yeah. again. I didn't know you could do that. Cool. That is good to know. Yeah, so... Yeah, I see the egg. At the top of that little area. Now, yeah. Cool. 
I was I was wondering how <clears throat> I'm getting those pets, but there you go. I feel like I just didn't get that much still. You know, like you know, we just have to go back again. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you didn't exactly have great. Well, I was gonna say you didn't exactly have great luck. I'd say that applies to the whole mimic situation. Yeah. Um, and, and the the previous run, you tried the ghost dungeon thing and lost a lot because of that. Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, we're about at time for this episode, so. All right. We will. Of course, Jordan, you always have the option to, you know, do any grinding or yeah. something like that if you wanted between. Yeah, maybe maybe I will because I died twice in this episode, so. Um, maybe get a couple of those uh, bow enchantments. Yeah, I'll get some enchantments. Maybe should I upgrade the weapon or the armor? I don't know. I mean, if you can, why not? Okay. But that's up to you how much of that you want to do in between. Okay. Sounds good. I will, yeah, I'll take a look and see what we can do. Maybe we'll be, maybe we can finish the next dungeon next time. We'll see. I'm not making any promises. <laughs> or at least finish the second floor of it. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm i way off on those prices. Energy capacitor, I have no idea. Well. Okay, thank you everybody. I think that'll do it. Yeah, see you next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye.